fellow ministers, ambassadors, distinguished representatives, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Secretary General of the IMO. Firstly, um, I would like to express my personal and my government's sincere thanks for the opportunity to participate in the 40th anniversary of Rembeck, a center under the Barcelona Convention that has contributed significantly, not only the protection of the Mediterranean, but also in bringing together our countries to a common cause, which is, of course, the protection of our sea. The environmental challenges we will face, especially in the Mediterranean Sea, are many and can only be tackled via concentrated and coordinated efforts. In this aspect, Rembeck plays the vital role in acting as a catalyst, as well as being the center through which the necessary collaboration can be achieved. The Mediterranean Sea, being an important sea route, had always been in danger from pollution. However, the recent discovery of natural gas in the Eastern Mediterranean poses additional dangers. Its financial benefits come part and parcel with the responsibility to protect the Mediterranean Sea from pollution. Environmental impacts and safety issues may arise at all stages of oil and gas activities, including initial exploration, production, and final decomm decommissioning. There is a broad range of environmental concerns, including those, relate, in, sorry, including those relating to all the charges from routine operations, the use and discharge of chemicals, accidental spills, drill cuttings, and the placement of installations and pipelines on the seabed. And the truth of the matter is that the economy of our countries relies heavily on the sea and tourism. We therefore need to take all necessary measures from the very beginning in order to protect our marine environment from mismanagement of offshore drilling activities and hydrocarbon transportation, whether that is carried out by pipelines or ships. The Barcelona Convention, its protocols for the protection of the Mediterranean, to which Cyprus, as well as all other Mediterranean countries are members, is a solid legal instrument that can be used in order to achieve the regional cooperation that is necessary to deal with the potential threats to the environment. Cyprus being particularly active in Barcelona Convention and fully aware that the discovery and utilization of hydrocarbons in its exclusive economic zone region is a potential threat to the environment, considers imperative that regional cooperation is essential in dealing with all pollution incidents that could easily be beyond the technical and capabilities of our country. Based on this principle, last April, a trilateral declaration of intent was signed between Cyprus, Greece, and Israel on the protection of the environment, focusing on marine pollution from hydrocarbons. Having signed the agreement, the three countries sued the assistance of Rembeck in developing a sub-regional contingency plan based on the new realities which include hydrocarbon exploitation. I have to say that the response of Rembeck, as well as the Secretariat of the Convention, which I deeply thank, was immediate and positive. Furthermore, Rembeck, with the technical assistance of ITOP, supported the revision of the National Contingency Plan of Cyprus, which will be adopted soon. Dear friends, the Regional Marine Pollution Emergency Response Center does not need to be advertised. It has proved itself over the last 40 years. However, as I indicated above, the emerging challenges in the Mediterranean, which are many and therefore every assistance should be given to Rembeck, financial as well as human resources, so that it can continue its role and be the link for achieving close cooperation between all countries, north and south, as well as the European Commission and its institutions. Mediterranean Sea is the cradle of civilization and has been offering its blessings to humanity for thousands of years. We now know that the people of the Mediterranean have also been blessed with hydrocarbons, a natural resource valuable for their economies. 
it is up to us to use this blessing with wisdom and humility in order to ensure the well-being of our people and use it to build bridges of peace and mutual respect between nations while ensuring that we protect the unique environment and biodiversity of our sea for the generations to come. Thank you for your attention.